Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Kazi Salahuddin, TA of the present course. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of MATLAB. This uh, tutorial will be very helpful for the beginners. I hope many of the students know about the MATLAB and how to use and how to execute the program. But the basic purpose of this tutorial is for the beginners who don't know the MATLAB and want to learn the MATLAB so the MATLAB is very important tool for all engineering disciplines as well as science and technology so it reduces the effort like suppose that if you take the example of aerospace like aircraft is flying at a steady steady level flight where is lift equal to weight you want to calculate the cl for each velocity so what you can write cl equal to 2w divided by rho v square s right so for a different velocity you will get different cl if you manually if you do it will take time so if you write the small program where your input is w your input is reference area, your input is velocity, your input is at density, at what altitude you are flying. So basically air density. So you just insert this input for each input you will get CL. If you are fixing everything, if you change the velocity, your CL will be changed. So you just update the value of velocity, you will get the updated value of CL. So from this example, you can see that how beautiful MATLAB is. So this is a very small uh, example. Later we will discuss more about this. So when you open the MATLAB, your MATLAB will be look like this as you are seeing in the screen. So basically this is called the workspace. If you run the program, your all variables as well as answers will appear here and this is the folder file if you open the particular folder what MATLAB file you have you will see here here if you click you can use the different type of files A script file function file later we will discuss what will be the uh, script file and what will be the function file and here you can open your particular file here you can go to the location from where you want to open the file and uh, here you can print your results here you can save your results here you can run the code you can execute your program so the, uh, these are the primary things so i will tell you the first i will explain you how the different files exist like in matlab and uh, how will you write your program in what file script file function file subsequently i will tell you what is the use of for loop while loop when we will use for loop and when we will use while loop so as you can see that this is an example for uh, for loop here you have defined the input so you can see that the input it is written in green color so this is basically the comment percentage shows the comment if you write anything like a b c if you could comment it will not will be the part of the your program but for your reference 
you can see what you have written okay so if you put one percentage see one percentage will look like this if you put double percentage your section will break so suppose that you want to create input as a different section so look like this formula what you are using the formula different section figure different section so you can put the double percentage here so in this you can see what is our input our aim first consider our aim our aim is to calculate the power required drag experience by the aircraft for a different velocity at different altitude as well as what cl by cd our aircraft is flying so basically we want power versus velocity drag versus velocity and cl by cd versus velocity okay so you know that drag is nothing but half rho v square s into cd half rho rho is a, will be the input v will be the input s will be the input and then cd cd further we can write cd naught plus kcl square so cd naught will be the input k will be the input and cl we can compute from 2w divided by rho v square s so see i have given the range for velocity 15 to 30 meter per second at the step of 0.1 okay rho is a function of altitude i am this is very fundamental sir already explained to you what is the function what is the how the density varies with that t2 so i have written directly here g is 9.81 our uav mass is 13 kg and we are flying at a steady state level friend means load factor will be 1 our wing span is 3 meter area is 0.9 s per ratio can be calculated as b square by s and the weight of the will be mg and our span efficiency factor is 0.9 and our parasite of drag option is CD0 is 0.04. So basically these input you have specified. And we are using for loop because we want to fly from 0 to 5 km. So we will get the data for 0 km, 1 km, 2 km, 3 km, 4 km and 5 km. So H equal to 0 in a steps of 1 to 5 km. Okay and these are the intermediate formula we need k k can be calculated as pi into e into square ratio cl trim will be 2 w n rho s v square then if we know cl cd can be found at cd naught plus k cl square then d will be half rho v square s into cd p will be half into drag into velocity which is nothing but half rho s cd v q and cl by cd is cl trim and cd cd naught plus kcl square so now these are my input we have defined and now we have intermediate formula and uh, now we have results so we want velocity versus drag so these are the command plot velocity versus drag display the name t line width one our x label is velocity so you have to write like this this is a standard procedure and y label is aerodynamic drag and hold on because at 1 km 2 km 3 km to 5 km we have to at the same plot we want the data so we have to hold on and i will tell you these are the very basic tool in order for coloring the figure line style if you want to make any grid these are the standard command now if you to run this program you will get the plots so first plot we will see aerodynamic drag versus velocity so it will look like this so this is nothing but the legend if you click legend it will appear here so as you can see that the blue line represent the zero kilometer when your aircraft is flying at a sea level condition your drag variation 
with flight velocity will be like this and when you are flying at 5 km your drag will be like this sky blue line there is a so many options here as you can see there are data tips data tips you can click here and you just put here you just drag you will see you can get the different you can check at what velocity suppose that at 25 velocity what is our drag so you just check you can check by using this tool also like if you want to copy your figure you can go to edit and you can copy your figure and you can directly paste into the your report like if you are making the report in MS Word and if you don't want to do it you can go to file you can go to save as you will get the different option first is MATLAB file if you save this anytime if you open you can edit it or you can say in the EPS form enhance form JPG form there is a lot of option available but good quality image if you want to save then always save in a EPS form or this TIFF image form it will look good so this is nothing but the aerodynamic drag versus uh, velocity and uh, another diagram you can see the aerodynamic power versus velocity so if you go to the aerodynamic power versus velocity you will get like this if you just insert the legend you will get the variation of the aerodynamic power versus velocity so from this diagram you can get the information that at what design speed your aerodynamic power is at what aerodynamic power is required in order to fly the this design speed suppose that you are flying at a 5 km ok and your design speed is 25 so you can check at 25 speed your aerodynamic power requirement is 276.51 watt ok and our third interest is to see the response of aerodynamic efficiency you will see these are very important parameters like aerodynamic efficiency at 25 and 5 km your aerodynamic efficiency is, is almost 11.4 something ok and at a sea level your aerodynamic efficiency is go down to 8.11 ok and this flat line is independent of flight speed like this flat line because as you know CL equal to under root CD naught by K and CD equal to 2 CD naught for minimum power condition or oh, maximum base condition for minimum power condition CL equal to under root 3 CD naught by K and CD equal to 4 CD naught so CD naught and K is independent of flight so you will get the constant L by D ratio one important things of this is like when you are flying a very high lift to drag ratio where your damping will decrease the pilot will feel very difficult to fly take very large amount of time to damp the aircraft so basically I am telling you the basic purpose of this to show the graphs and how to edit the graphs and all but see once you design the aircraft you will see the important of this graph like aerodynamic power drag L by D some more graph will come when you will design okay so these are the graph first is aerodynamic drag second is power and third is L by D ratio okay so as you can see this graph represented from 1 0 1 2 3 to 5 km okay if you want to fly if you want to see the data only for 0 km in a far loop you can put only instead of 5 you just put 0 so from 0 to 0 you are going okay so basically you are flying at a sea level 0 km okay you just run this program 
and you just see the L by D, how the L by D is varies, and also how the aerodynamic drag is varies, and how the aerodynamic power is varies. Okay. So now, if you go to legend, if you click this, you will see h equal to zero kilometer. So now there is a lot of option also available. If you go this arrow and if you just click here, okay, you just click this line. You what you are seeing? You are seeing cut, copy, delete, color. If you want to change the color, go whatever you want. You can color it. Okay, black. If you like red color, you can go to red. If you don't like this solid line, you can go to the line style. You can make it dash. Okay, so you can see here so many option is available like line style, dash dot dash dot. Just check how dash dot is look like. So, okay, fine. Okay. See, you can increase the line width also. Currently, it is a one. Now, if you increase to two, it will be like little thicky. Okay. Will be thick. Now you have also option like suppose that you have so many graphs. How will you differentiate? One thing is by color. But if you want to print it into a black and white, then color will not be matter. You have to differentiate by something else. Like we can differentiate by using marker. Okay, we can go to the plus. Okay, we can. You just increase. It is very. You marker size you reduce, okay. You will get plus, okay. Or you can go to the hexagon, diamond, circle. So many options is available, like, okay. So here you can see now it is like circle, okay. So you find you just decrease the line width and make go to marker and put the marker size two and marker whatever you want. Currently, it is circle. Just put a star. You will get star, star. Okay. So in this way, you can modify your figure, and uh, also some option is available. Like if you go to the edit and figure property. So if you go to the figure property, from that figure property, you can edit this axis limit. You can edit the font also. You can edit the font of the legend also if you go to this uh, tool you will see lot of option is available and i request you to if you face any problem if you are not understanding anything then please post the question in the forum i am promising you i will give the answer because when you at the time of learning you will face lot of problem like when you run execute the program Definitely, you will get the error, and this is the beauty. When you will get the error, just correct it, correct it, correct it. Day by day, day by day, you will become the expert in MATLAB. And you just play with the MATLAB. You will learn. Like suppose that you have written this program, and you have, if you miss this, see, if you using for loop, okay, and See, notice that we, I am putting dot. Okay, just remove this dot. Put back space. You will get error. Why error? Because element by element we have to multiply. So basically, dot represents the element by element. So basically, at zero kilometer you want data. At one kilometer also, two kilometer also. So element element by element you have to multiply. So dot represent that. So see, you are missing one dot and you are getting the error. So likewise, you will get so many problems. But please correct it. If you want to try to correct it, please go to the Google and search how to fix the problem. If you are not getting same problem, take the screenshot in the MATLAB. Post it in the forum. I am promising you that I will give the answer for sure. So this is the about the for loop. Now we will go to 
see the while loop and what is the difference between for loop and while loop so for loop is nothing but you are uh, not putting any condition like this type of condition like less than or greater than so if this condition is not required then we will use for loop like we want to fly the aircraft at 0 km 1 2 3 4 5 there is no condition like less than or greater than so we will use for loop but suppose that the problem is such that there is a condition is specified like less than greater than or for loop or while loop at the same problem we can use for loop as well as uh, while loop it depends upon your choice also so let's see the while loop so suppose that your n is number 1 2 3 4 5 we have taken 5 you want to estimate the factorial of n okay so factorial of n you want to to so factorial will be the positive number so it will start from greater than 1 right so we are putting condition n greater than n minus 1 okay and as you know that factorial is what see what uh, the mathematics what is the logic of mathematics is there same logic we will write here okay so suppose that when you calculate the factorial of any number let's say 5 what you will do 4 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right so you are taking one number as a 5 then you are subtracting 1 getting 4 multiplying by 5 then again subtracting 1 from 4 you are getting 3 again subtracting 3 by minus 1 okay then you are getting 2 and 2 minus 1 1 and you are multiplying 4 5 4 3 2 1 we will get the factorial so that is why we have is say that our next number will be n equal to n minus 1 and factorial will be the multiply of fact, fact into n like 5 into 4 if it is two number there so if suppose that n is 5 then our factorial will be 5 into 4 4 which is coming from here n minus 1 okay till that condition it will apply when n greater than 1 so at n equal to 1 it will stop okay so now we have n equal to 5 if we run our program so it will appear factorial equal to 120 what is the factorial of 3 it is 6 na let's see whether we are getting or not see we are getting factorial equal to 6 so you are specifying the numbers 3 and you are putting the condition n greater than 1 so this while loop ends when n will be 1 like it will compute n minus 1 2 2 minus 1, 1. So 3 to 1 will be the answer. So 3 into 2 into 1 will be the 6. 6 is the answer. So this is the use of while loop. So now, as far as uh, uh, this problem is concerned, it is very simple. Now we will see the use of function file. So before going to the function file. i want to tell you what is the script file so what you have written this program this is in a script file your all the program executed in a single file but suppose that your program is very large like from starting from 1 to like 78 line 78 line program is there very simple program very simple program but suppose that your program is 2000 3000 6000 line can you put all the program in a single file it will be very difficult because if you divide the section wise then it will be very easy to see the things for looking into the program you can easily change whatever you want in the same program so in this situation the function file helps like if you use the function file if you have suppose that you have the 6000 uh, 6000 line program so you can divide into 500 500 different different section in a function files so the beauty of the function file is you can call the function file anywhere in the matlab in the same folder it will take the data from the function file we will see okay so this is the beauty of function file 
so for how to write the function file like so function file start with function and suppose that whatever you want to take average na so this will be the like after the function output will be appear like average is output what type of average you want to take the average of a number we will see a average like average of 1 plus 1 and 2 to so 1 and 2 average will be 1 plus 2 3 number is 1 and 3 2 na 3 to 3 by 2 will be 1.5 okay we will see so function file start with function then output then equal then name of the function file the import see you have to be very careful here what is your the file name should be the same as written here okay and now you will write the computation formula average is nothing but sum of x column basically you are you are you have more than one data so that is why you are putting this symbol here and just count the number like suppose that x is 1 comma 2 so what is the average 1 plus 2 total number is 2 so 1 plus 2 by 2 is 3 by 2 1.5 okay suppose that uh, you want to compute uh, these things like average so what you will do you will run this file what you are getting you are missing something right error in a function file so you just write the function file here and give the command in the command window so like uh, what command i have to give let's say i am putting x equal to 1 comma 2 and i want to compute the average of it okay you just copy the same thing and just enter okay okay you have put the same column here na to move the same column enter you will get 1.5 okay suppose that you want to compute the average of this 1 comma 3 so by manually what will be the answer 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay so total 6 6 by 3 2 will be the answer right let's see we are getting 2 or not 2 will be the average so this is the beauty of the function file so till now we have covered the for loop while loop different type of files script file function file and what is the basics like basic command things how to edit the matlab plot and all so this all about the basics and uh, here in the command window also you can do some like if you want to add something like suppose that uh, you don't have any calculator you want to add 23 plus 99 okay so you can write 23 and you can write plus and 99 you will get the answer 122 So basically, as a calculator, you can use this. And suppose that you want to write the matrix A. A equal to this one comma two comma three. Then put one column. Three, four comma five comma six. Okay. Then seven comma eight. Eight comma nine. You just close the bracket, okay? So what you will get? Matrix A. First row is one, two, three. Second row is four, five, six. Third row is seven, eight, nine. So basically, you can notice that when you are writing matrix A, one comma space comma space three, okay? Listen again. You are writing one space two space three. This is nothing but one row. If you are putting semicolon now you are going to second row 4 comma space comma 4 comma space you are writing 5 then space 
then again putting semicolon now after this semicolon the third row will come 7 space 8 space 9 so your matrix is a now you want to take the inverse okay so you just type i and v span i and v you just take the inverse okay you will get this answer inverse okay now you want to add the matrix similar way you can add the matrix similar way you can multiply the matrix similar way you can subtract the matrix okay similar way if you want the co only column matrix then you just write b equal to 1 comma 2 comma 1 column 2 semicolon 3 okay 1 semicolon 2 semicolon 3 okay this will go the column matrix and if you write the only row matrix then 1 space 2 space 3 this way this is the matrix multiplication and if you want to find the determinant just go to dit simple command a your determinant will be like this so this are the way like you can calculate the things suppose that you, you want to find the e square exp this is nothing but the e then 2 you will get e square is 7.3 so as you are using um, like a calculator you can instead of using calculator if it happen, you can use here itself now as you observe that in your workspace these are the variables stored with input and also lot of things is there in the command window and if you want to erase all the things then what command you can do you can just clear all you just press enter so you will see that key all the variable which has been stored in the workplace has been eliminated not present there erased and now when you will press clc you will get you will notice that all the operations performed in the command window has been erased so there are so many matlab commands are there for simple arithmetic operation okay mathematical operation so that command i will attach in this week I, as a separate sheet i will attach the some basic uh, command for matlab like how to compute the inverse how to compute the exponential how to write the identity matrix something there are so many things like so it will help you and uh, if i will find some extra material related to matlab that will also i will uh, attached in this week okay and thank you so much for uh, listening this tutorial and uh, once again i am saying that uh, please post a question in the forum like if you are not getting anything like suppose that if you are getting any error so you just post it because see matlab you should know the matlab this is very important when you go for higher study see this is the first requirement like whether you know matlab or not and your answer should be yes because everybody in this era should know the matlab who are doing the research especially so thank you so much and if you have any question please post on the forum i am sure that when you install the matlab you will get the error try to fix the error yourself and if you are not getting you just take the screenshot and post it in the forum i am promising you i will give the answer thank you so much Thank you.